Today, we're gonna bring a 10 port search protector. Now, this is not just a, any ordinary search protector. It is actually a pretty good one because it has some hidden talent in here. We're gonna show you guys what's hidden in here. But first of all, before besides the three prong connection, the 10 point connections that you have in here, you also have two USBs. And this is a good factor now that a lot of devices are coming in with lamps. Uh, that require um, five volts or higher, you know, well, this is pretty much a five volt connection. You could charge your phone. You could plug in other uh, accessories through here. Uh, like I said, LED lights are coming out with uh, accessories that you would just plug and play kind of thing. Now you have two different power sources too, because I'm going to show you one is actually for the actual 10 port connections that we have in here. And then the other one is for the actual hidden part of it, which is the LED lights that are underneath of it. Now, the great thing about it, if you guys notice, I'm going to raise them up and, and you're going to hear a little clicking sounds. And it raises the actual LED lights. So it picks up both LED lights, if you guys can see that. And then any kind of thing that you have in front of it, you're going to be able to shine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the existing one I have in here and we're gonna put this one in here it's a little bit bulkier but you actually get a little bit more than what you bargain because uh, you get the LED lights you get the extra USBs uh, two two different power sources that you have in here one for the light one for the actual search protector now they do in the back have the little extra mounts that you require Best thing to do is double-sided tape too. You know, you get a, like a three pound or one pound uh, double-sided 3M tape. You can put this in anywhere if you have that. So that's another option that you have besides that itself too. So, but the great thing about it is the actually LED lights. I like them and they actually hide in the side of it. I'm gonna put, to do a side angle here. If you guys can see, I have a little side angle. Open it, a little slot closing it out. Really simple. I like that, that's a plus. Um, especially the 10 ports plus the two um, eight, um, USBs that you have. The, and then on top of that, they give you a 6.5 cable feed that you can actually uh, log it and plug it in anywhere, pretty much a uh, six foot cable. You're going to be able to expand it anywhere you want. So we're going to take a look at it. We're going to set it up and see how well it looks. So we're going to turn off a couple of lights in here. And what you need to do is you have to actually turn on the search protector, including the power for the LED light. If it goes out on you, it's you can always reset it through here too. So once you turn it on, there's actually two indication lights that's on and everything's active in here. All you gotta do is click on the button on the bottom on the left, the last button. And what you do is the great thing about it is you could expand this to any kind of any location, anywhere you want. You could if you have a search protector in your uh, toolbox, this is actually perfect, especially if you're gonna be uh, working in your shop because you want to make sure you charge your phone while you're there and other devices too. And like I say, a lot of LED lights require a USB now these days. Um, you're able to plug in two devices in there. And not only that, these things are pretty bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them here in my studio where I'm going to be able to light up some of the stuff in the bottom. Maybe it'll be able to help me out by, you know, moving the lights left and right. And there's a little clicking sound every time you move them. But check it out, guys. Here in my studio lab, I got my actual search protector in the back. I got fully loaded and if I need extra lighting for my studio I could just click on the button here if you guys can see it I'm gonna click it on look at that extra light for the back so besides my studio lights here my camera here and my mess I have in here and I'm cleaning it out I actually put it on we're fully loaded computer setup is set up in there we have extra USB charging stations here that we're gonna be utilizing that um, Pretty awesome little setup. I like this a lot. Uh, it's it's it comes in handy. I could just plug in, and I got extra connections in there. Port connection. The lighting's a plus. Now the only thing I am gonna recommend is that I need to label that because I don't want to turn off while I'm streaming or I'm doing recording. So I'm gonna label this one because this is the one that you turn off as the power for the lighting. And if you don't want to see the lights, you could you could always push them to the back, and they click on. And that's pretty much, if you guys can hear it, look at that. See that? I'm gonna put my phone here so you guys can see it. I like that. Bring it down. Extra lighting and perfect. If you have tools or a place that you're gonna be working on, this is perfect. So I hope you guys enjoy the video.